inscribed in the twilight of the night.
Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. The hall's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. It was taken from a lab somewhere. There's some kind of powder left on the bottom. That... Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. the fish with an unknown substance that made a noise which alerted the guard who chased him out. Interesting. I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna. We'll quarter you. 
You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. Don't worry, I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer, except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. See ya. May the sea protect you. The sea protects. The sea protects.
much. Fresh fish? I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. What, what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know, but I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. Any theories on who might have done this? Any... enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see, take them. Or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. What do you want me to do with the Poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it? Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later.
All the news that's fit to print. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I apologize for my bluntness, but can I ask you a question? Mouth? Yeah. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but 
That can't be legal, can it? This looks like... It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. Over there. And that's it? No payment, no threatening, no favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope, entertainment, escapism. Now more than ever, can't imagine library without his help. Bye, Joy. something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight, 
You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. person would even touch this, not to mention dissect it.
Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, <sighs> crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. Where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... <sighs> All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beasts that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that, once revealed, will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none, worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. I'll see you later.
door won't budge. And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. enough to make a decent copy.
hide it, or you will die. Please, help me! Please! Help a fella out. I'll take anything you got. the news that's fit to print. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Thank you. 
Get away. There's nothing to see here. Something you like. Cheaper than the rest. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why, it's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine, his biochemistry studies are second to none, worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you
Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. <sighs> Fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, you need an, an analysis. I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Something I can help you with, sir? Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Charles Reed, by the eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Are so valuable. They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. I'll see you later.
Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. See you.
extra on all the news that's fit to print. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. Oh, how nice for you. If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. If that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Bye. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Bothering me, newcomer. Oh, 
All on sale. Much. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it.
this Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. I loved you. I always loved you. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine! <laughs> You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! Okay, let's see what we have here. George? I don't care what your damn- You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George Kevin. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. <sighs> no, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. Yes. It was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. 
that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it! I just couldn't! Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Your agent inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right. Look, I'm going to need to think about this. Uh, of course. But don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why.
So. I've thought about your proposition. Your methods stink, and your plan stinks. Still, the EOD is a threat, and I'm not gonna help them anymore. I'm in. Oh. You're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded, but you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet. Yes? Do you need something? What is it? Yes? Do you need something? What is it?
Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I found your poisoner. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. Oh, thank goodness. Who is it? Well, that's the peculiar part. It's your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. So that son of a rotten shark finally decided to show up. We'll find him. Then I'll have a word with him in person. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. You're taking this remarkably well for a woman who just found out her ex-husband is a poisoner. He's nobody to me. The EOD is my family now, and we serve a higher purpose than he could ever grasp. My life finally has meaning. And now, we're going to relieve him of the burden of his miserable existence. You've done us all a great service, Charlie. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your Grand Poobah or whoever's in charge, now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Glad to see you again. Damn newcomers! This used to be an okay place to live. You won't find a better house at that price. Something you like. Glad to see you again. Do you want a fishy?
Hey, hey, Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. No, ain't that right? The scientists are order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've an inkling what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week, talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. Smugglers, huh? Well, sounds worth a shot. Sure. I'm up for it. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know where they got her. You fix things for me, I can get you in. For sure. But hurry. Thank you. 